Hi everyone, so this is my first video that I'm making for my YouTube channel, which is Road to One Dan. I'm going to be playing on KGS as my player, Joe Eck. I'm currently 5Q and I want to try and get to One Dan, and I thought I would share my journey with you. So, good game, have fun to the other player, and then let's uh, get back to action. Okay. So, my plan is to kind of talk you through my moves, why I'm making them. Initially, just laying out the area. I have no idea if anyone's going to watch these videos, or if people do, what kind of standard you're going to be. So, I'm in kind of two minds of how to talk through my videos. Um, but yeah, you're the, you're the viewers, so you let me know what you think I should do. Just been playing by instinct at the minute. Um, I think I'm not looking too good at top right corner because I think I can kind of get a bit trapped. So where I've just played Q15, I'm kind of making a threat on the corner, um, top right corner, and it should allow me to come out. So the problem I've got now, in the way I played, a bit distracted, not your fault, um, is I've got two separate groups that have just been cut. So I'm kind of thinking, do I attack this corner and leave these stones weaker? Or do I come out here? Coming out here looks okay. That's kind of separating these stones. However, he's got enough space around here, gamer 0026, to make space to live. So I think I've made my mind up I want to attack the corner. Now how I do that is another thing. So if I Atari this stone, it'll come down. I can play there, come down. I think I'd end up getting a little bit caught out. Um, but I do have this option here. If I play there, I've got a almost a forcing move for them to connect. Anyway, let's stop talking about it and let's do something. Okay, let's try and go into a corner this way. So the problem he's got now is I'm condensing his space. But to be honest, I'm already feeling like this guy's better than me. But I think there might be a double Atari chance opportunity if I kind of play here now. It's called a double Hanny. And he's acknowledged my threat. I read it out briefly in my head, and he must have thought I was threatening him. He's played a forcing move there. He might now take away my eye space. Now he's chosen to play up, up instead. Okay, well, I'll extend one more along. Not too worried about that one line of space. Okay, so he's coming out. I think this is quite a big move because these two stones were weak. That move is kind of bringing things together a little bit. Now you can see his group are looking a bit surrounded. He's probably planning on, yeah, trying to make a cut. Might well work. But the problem he's got... So 
sorry the problem he's got is um i'm surrounding these stones and i think i can escape with this might be wrong but as you watch me play and we talk through stuff you'll get to know me i quite like to take a risk i'm closer to killing these three stones than he is to killing my stones so I've actually got a fair bit of space going on there and if you want to see what I mean look where I've got the square one two three uh, liberties where he needs to cover to kill me and he's got if I play there he's got one two three so he's actually one ahead of me so I'm going to connect now the nice thing about Go is, as he is, basically, as he is trying to, as I'm trying to kill him here, he's trying to kill me here, and he's also got a chance of killing me there. Now, I want to make sure my stuff is living. So, at some point, when the moment's right, I need to kill this. The group around Q13 uh, type area. I'm threatening to cut here, so he'll probably connect. Yeah, he's made some form of connection there. Okay, so that's given me a bit of movement into encroaching on his area. Now I'm actually going to focus on bringing the pain to that group we talked about. So in Go, you've always got to be thinking, where is my area coming from? Where are my points coming from? And if you're new to Go, you get points by the area that you surround by your stones. So it's not immediately clear yet. However, in the top right corner here, Black is probably going to be getting some points around here where he's circled stuff. Okay. Now, Black could get a lot of points here. He's got potential. When someone has potential, we call it mayo. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and reduce his mayo play there. Okay. He's kind of indirectly played close to it. But I'm going to attack into the corner. The corner is the easiest place to make points because you've already got two sides of your area sealed off. Keep going into the area. Okay. Come out. And now I'm kind of connecting my stones. Possibly. Forced me to play that. So. I don't know how this channel is going to go, but if you think you want me to explain things a bit differently or if you think I'm making it too complicated or being too simplistic, let me know. I saw a little play here where I can kind of hmm, double Atari, you see. Now I can choose to Atari here to attack that stone. If he, this is called reading through in your head. If he plays here, I could play there. He could play here. I could play there. And I think I'm going to end up killing him. So I'm going to try that one. Yeah, it looks like he agrees with me. I'm just going to make doubly sure play there. It's 
quite a nice move by him. Sorry, um, yeah, I'm recording these on my phone, by the way, so you can imagine a phone. I'm on horizontal mode on my phone, and um, the camera is obviously at the side. So usually when I play on my phone, play Go on my phone, um, my head would be around the middle of the screen. But I'm kind of having to lean into the view at the same time as doing all the stuff I'm doing. Anyway, so I'm quite happy with how things are going at the minute. Um, a little tip. A nice thing to have is a stone on the third line in, and then a gap of two, and then another stone. So if I play here, I can do that nice shape there, and then there. Or there and then there. So I'm going to play here and probably take the other one that he doesn't take. Um, unless he plays next to me, and then I'll probably come out first, see what he does, and then I'll play what I was talking about. Most of my ghost stuff I'm kind of making up as I go along. Um, I don't study and go as far as, anywhere near as much as I probably should be. So you might see things you think, what's he on about? Happy for you to make a comment and tell me, because I can learn from you, just like you might be able to learn from me. So I made a cut there of two groups of stones. Okay, he's trying to trying to kill me a bit. Jump out, give ourselves some space. And if you see my big hand coming across the camera, do apologise. That's me just clicking the screen. Hello. Um, So he's making a play here where he could kill this group. I think I might still be ahead even if he does, to be honest. But like I say, I do not know. So yeah, the problem we've got is we need to make two eyes. Sorry, it's quite hard to um, think and play at the same time. And I think he's outplaying me here. This could be my demise. Um... It'd be nice if we win our first game together. But it's kind of an introduction video as well to show you what I plan to do in my channel. I'm just wondering if there's a way to cut here. I don't think there is. Damn. Um, I'm being rather desperate here, trying anything I can. Uh, 
We'll do a little review at the end, if I can do it on my phone, and I'll, I'll try and see what, what has happened. Because I think he's got ahead of me now. If he kills this white group, which he probably will, yeah, he's going to get ahead. So I have to be a bit more ambitious around the bottom now. Oh, damn it. I hate it when that happens. He's just taken away a really good move from me. So if I'd have played there, he would have had to answer there. Because me playing here would have killed him. So, yeah. Annoying. Yeah, that really does frustrate me, to be honest. What I'm doing now is saying, well, there's a little chance that I might be able to kill this, let's kill something here, maybe. Oh, it's getting me tense. Sorry, if I'm... <laughs> I don't have the best eyesight in the world, so if I'm bringing it very close to my face, that's what's going on. And it's when I really concentrate... Oh, nice. I did not see that. Oh, that's annoying. Very nice play, Gamer0026. What he's done is he's done uh, connect and die. So if I was to save that one Atari stone here, then I imagine a white stone there, he'd kill the whole group. And the connect and die will stay there until I kill this stone. I'm sad to say he's really outplaying me now. So this is the thing with Go. You can think you're ahead. Or you can think your opponent's ahead. And then they come back and kick your ass. And he sure is kicking my ass. <sighs> it's an exciting game, isn't it?
I like games like this where it's kill, kill, kill. So one, two, three for him. One, two. Okay, this is getting complicated. Don't know what to do. Damn it. He's outplayed me again. Yeah, he's really, really outplaying me here. Ah. Okay, so he's got one, two, three liberties. I think we're okay here. I don't know if I'll be able to do anything here, but I always try. I think he can play Q19 and save it. Oh, 25 minute game so far. Mm -hmm. But why did he hesitate so long? I thought it was a simple escape. I don't think he needed that extra move. Go can be quite stressful. Can be very stressful.
But I think I might be doing something good here. Oh. Okay. Well, Um, I think the thing with this video is when I'm really trying to think, it's hard for me to um, talk through what I'm doing and what's going on. But essentially, I think I've saved this big group, which means after a big fight, I don't think I needed to play there. I'm just going to make sure I kill. You never know what can happen in co-fights, things like that. What's he done? Where's he played? Has he passed? I think he's passed. Has he passed? I feel like on KGS it should come up saying pass. If someone passes. Because it's hard to know. Right. This might be quite a big co. There we go, he's resigned. Um, I would have liked to see what the score is there for the first review video. But basically, these are dead black stones. There may have been a chance to cut some stuff off. His black stones at the top are alive, but he's getting how many points? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points at the top. And then he's got nine, ten, eleven, maybe twelve, thirteen. And then he's got fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. He'd probably I think he'd killed my white stones here so he's got some points however I've got all this a couple of points here these were points so there was key turning points in that game and uh, whoa dropped my phone and I hope you enjoyed it um, please subscribe to my channel road to one dan where I'll be doing more of the same we'll keep going at this until I, and hopefully you, get to Dan level. And, uh, yeah. So, like the video. Make a comment in the video. And um, let me know what you think. Subscribe to my channel so you'll get informed when I post new videos if you press the little bell button. Okay. Thanks for watching and goodbye.